I'm happy, I'm blessed, I'm free. I'm happy, I'm blessed, I'm free. That's our new song here for our members. Hi, how are you? Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm a little late. I know a bunch of people are probably watching Mark Z. It doesn't matter. You can catch the replay. I still love you. I understand, guys. He's like an icon in the community. He's, he's the biggest channel anyway. So uh, welcome. We retalk all things wealth transfer. I'm the financial person. I'm the one that God called out of a very successful corporate financial career where I was offered the CFO position three times for the age of 32. And that was after I was on the partner track at Price Waterhouse. That was my favorite job of all time. I was an auditor. I always could find things that were wrong. I just have a nose for it. So welcome, 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 everybody coming on. Grab your coffee, grab your tea. It's a wacky morning here. How's the weather there? It is 39 degrees and really windy. Uh, so it cuts like a knife, you know, but that's why I've got an extra sweatshirt on today. Um, what are you doing today? Are you having a good day? Are you planning on moving your body? Please move your body. I might just walk around the house. My new, uh, I have to look at my new program I'm doing, right? So grab your coffee. I'm using my pink Yeti cup. I'm doing everything I can to lift my own spirits. Um, it's just one of those days, guys. And I always bring you the truth, the facts with optimism. What is the optimism? God keeps saying it is done. The Iraqi dinar part of the wealth transfer is done. The cryptos are already running. So the wealth transfer is now. It's happening right now. For those of you who've been with me a while and you've been Miracle Manifestation members, you are prepared because I told you everything to do to prepare for this tab. So I'm just so excited, guys. I can be excited if I choose to be. But in my flesh this morning, uh, I had to help my husband move something heavy. That is my worst, fit, likely, that is my worst favorite thing to do. <laughs> but I got it done. I prayed the whole time and we got it moved. Now I'm going to move us into the office because we have something that uh, my husband's waiting on. I can't do it. I'm going to have to make two trips. <coughs> Honey, could you grab my coffee and pay, help me get in the office? Okay. I think Lisa texted too. I got I got to come back and get my open cup of coffee because the dogs are back here with me. We're we're shielding them. It they could get noisy when the delivery people get here. So I should be happy, but I'm not. You ever feel like that? You should be happy, but you're not. That's that's me. I'm just saying. I got all sorts of wealth transfer messages coming through my phone. I've got um, the good Lord clarified with Jeremiah 33, three yesterday, everything that I've been doing and saying on this platform. Um, it was like Christmas yesterday. We got a bunch of stuff that we had ordered for our trip. Cause guys, I haven't been in the Caribbean and since 2011. <laughs> oh, they're here. Okay. So, okay. Perfect timing. I'll be back here. I got my coffee. Whoops. Hold on guys. Okay, guys, I'm going to, I'm going to talk. Usually I turn on the music to give my dog something to listen to if somebody's, if it's going to be loud, but whatever. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm giving you a chance to get on. I think I'm going to pray and go right into the confessions because that's just how I just, uh, I feel, I feel. Uh, and the good Lord said to me, just tell him how you feel. I feel like a little down. I don't know why it's, it's uh, the joy of the Lord is my strength. I know that. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do what I always do. This is what I do. When I feel down, I go to God and I say, okay, God, my flesh is not happy. <laughs> it's cold day. It's windy. Thank God it's sunny, but I can't sit in the kitchen because I'm getting something delivered. And so <laughs> this is what I do. With, this is what I used to do with God in person. Now I'm just sharing it with the world. Um, I go to him with my coffee and I tell him how I'm really feeling. Oh, I start with praise. Praise you, God, that I'm alive. Oh, look, praise you, God, that my husband got me these cute earrings for the trip. They're light. Look, they got little smiley faces on them. So I, I took out all the stops, guys. I'm wearing pink. I got my Rise and Shine cup. I got this. I'm pulling out all the stops. However, I got an amazing husband who's taking care of everything. I just had to help him move one big, bulky, crazy item that's over 30 years old. I'm going to have a sip of coffee before I continue, okay? It wasn't really a grand rising today. Well, it was, and now we're, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Guys, it's okay to feel that way in God's kingdom. 
you go to God and you say, thank you, God, that you're so good. Thank you, God, for giving me the home. Thank you, God, for giving me my marriage. Thank you, God, for my horses and my dogs. And why am I, I put my eyelashes on today. Why do they look funny? I don't know. I am not, I'm not good at this, obviously. Um, and I'm sure somebody will give me some tips. <laughs> sure. Give me some tips. I don't care. <laughs> I've done my best. Oh, so what do you do when you feel that way? You just, look guys, the thing is, if you want to really have intimacy with God and you want to know he loves you and he's always with you because he always is, that's the promise, but you got to tell him how you really feel. I'll tell you that when I'm in this place, I don't get a word from God when I feel like this. I'm just being honest. I don't get a word from God. I can seek his word and be reminded of his promises and I can decree and declare, which is what we're going to do. But um, thank you. <laughs> they're a whole bunch of smiley faces and they're really light. They're, I, I want light earrings because I have to pack them, right? Look at them. A whole bunch of smiley faces. I got my brand new Yeti cup that my husband got me in pink. I'm wearing my pink camo tights. Why? Because this is pink warfare. <laughs> See, pink warfare, camo. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you for lifting me up in prayer. Yeah, I need it today. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just being honest. I'm, I'm not feeling anything. Well, I am. I'm feeling a lot, but it's just not the good stuff. You've never been on a cruise. The only time I had was with my, well, no, I went on one after my mother died. That was fun. Not. Uh, that was the first one I went on. It was a gift. It, I won it with uh, Price Waterhouse. That was the first Royal Caribbean cruise. I, and this is a Royal Caribbean cruise. And I'm not going to tell you the exact days, but you guys will figure it out. Oh, oh God. My, we've got this desk that has, um, it, it moves up and down. It can be a standing desk because uh, you got to be healthy, right? You got to move your body, guys. Don't let them put you in the ground early. <laughs> exactly. Well, yes, my husband and I had earned a lot of cruises with Relive when my business was thriving. And now it's just starting again. This is the first one we've been on in a long time. And we've always loved cruises. Why? Because they give us a nice room. And we open the sliders. We have our own private balcony thing. And we open the sliders and go, we go to sleep with the ocean sounds. It's just, it makes me sleep. I will not be having to put my earbuds in. I'm just saying, or my air, whatever. You, you know what I mean. Maybe this is just the weirdness before vacation. I don't know. It's a short, it's a short cruise. It's not, it's not real long, but it's enough. I'm like, I take it, God. I take it. I'm, I'm, I'm countdown. And it, I just took vitamin D too, because it, it's called seasonal affective disorder. I don't really have it because I, I don't have anything. Nothing has me because, oh my gosh, hold on. Just mother, mother of pearl. <laughs> there. The pink camo would never wear green camo. I know pink camo is fun. My husband got me these. He knows I'm a fighter. So anyways, he goes, this is good, honey. Thank you. And I'm like, Ugh. he goes, you're doing so good. And I'm like, I am so tired. Of this is what came out of my mouth. I'm tired of being strong. God told me it's my restoration season, but it's still been a lot of battles we've all been through. Amen. Can anybody say we've been through a lot of battles? So here's the deal. The way I develop this, this relationship with God, when I can usually hear from him, not this morning, there's too much chaos going on. I, I didn't even try. I honestly did. I have my, I have my pen and paper open just in case he says it's something. And he go, and this is what I heard. Tell him how you feel. I feel like if this thing doesn't happen soon, <laughs> but this is how you feel right before the breakthrough. He wants you to know you can't do this without him. He wants you to know that you need him. He, I, so we need him. More battles than I can count. Exactly. I'm acknowledging. Well, me too. <laughs> Cheers. Welcome to the uh, family where we can rest here. I was looking forward to this. I'm like, okay, now I can rest. My husband's going to deal with the um, delivery guys and supposedly they're here. So who knows? They have a big staircase to come up. Have you ever seen the front of my house? They probably drove up and they went, oh my gosh. And they probably don't even have the Lord. So I'm praying for, I should be praying for them, right? 
I won't be on a cruise unless I'm blessed. Then I'm blessed and I'm absolutely, first thing I'll do is take my family. And, yes. Well, this came through my company. And so I'm grateful. And I, I also have a family, my Rela family. I've missed them. And they're, they're, they really like me now. How do you like me now? They didn't like me when I, when I started something new in 2018 and resigned my title. I did. I resigned my title with that company. That was a heartbreaking thing, but God wanted to see if I would truly give it up. And I did, you know, ego is a, ego doesn't die easily, but the, okay. So let me explain this. The beautiful thing that happens is when you've been crushed by God and crushed again and crushed again and crushed again, I know that I'm not in control. So if I'm weak, he is strong. When I'm weak, he's strong. I was weak today. I'm just saying I'm still weak. I'm still a little grumpy. And my husband goes, thank you for not biting my head off today. Because <laughs> usually when he makes me carry something strong, heavy, I said, honey, I'm done carrying heavy stuff. I said this about a year ago and I had to carry something heavy today. I don't know how much it weighed. Would you stop? I'm not answering. Sorry, I'm just turning it down. I love you guys. I love coffee time. I hope you love it too. <sighs> Lord Jesus, let me get some coffee in me. Today is my baby brother Michael's birthday in heaven today. Oh, tomorrow's my brother's birthday. Oh, in heaven. Oh, I'm sorry. Guys, we've all lost people. But hey, we're survivors. I'm a survivor. I get, guys, I'm very, I'm very, I look for motivation. Today, I didn't. Today's one of those days I really didn't look. I said, Lord Jesus, you're, you, Jesus, take the wheel on this one. And of course, it's my restoration season. It's all of our restoration season. But every time I've had a big breakthrough with God, this is the biggest ever. This is how many can raise their hand and say, this is the biggest breakthrough that, that would be forever for your lifetime. This is, I can't imagine anything being bigger than this. I'm just saying. And I remember what it was like before I got promoted. I got like this. I got weary, tired, ready to give up. I'm like, I feel like I'm crawling across the finish line. Can anybody say amen with regard to the, there goes my dogs whining. I don't whine though. I keep my mouth shut. <laughs> I think I passed that test this morning. I was like, oh my God, I don't think I can. I, my husband was telling me how to pick it up. I said, I don't think I can do that. Honey. You need to understand. <laughs> I'm praying in tongues to be able to lift this thing and help him move it. <laughs> Blessings better be chasing me down the streets. I'm just saying. I have sacrificed everything. <laughs> I was listening to other uh, people like me. <laughs> and, and she was practically screaming at me. And I'm like, okay, you're not working for me. So I hope I never do that to you. I hope you always feel loved. Oh, guys, come here. Come here, place. I would put music on, but it would it would probably cause some kind of problem. I get muted all the time because of my music. They they mute my videos because of my music because I love music. Oh, here we go. This is perfect. Oh, where are my reading glasses? Lord Jesus, I'm not going to use my husband's. They're blue. Everything about my husband is blue. Hold on. I need to get reading glasses. OMG, I don't have my reading glasses. I'm not going to use my husband's. I'm not. Stop. I'll be right back. Hold on. Hey, faith family, I can say this is the biggest ever. And it, I know that's why it feels this way. That's why it feels this way. I'm, I'm just saying that's why it feels this way. Let me tell you before I was, I did not get my promotion. Well, this is much better. I'm much better this time, but it's bigger. So this is why the warfare has been intense. And this is why you need to fast and pray. Oh my gosh. I heard a minister today. She was calling for another fast because of whatever. And I'm not doing that again. I already did it the first three days. I'm not fasting today. Oh, just need my, hold on. There's people here. Hold on. I just need my ribbon. Back. Yeah. That they're, you're, you're blue ones. They don't, <laughs> he goes, there is a set back there. Yes. Back up. Back up. It'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. <laughs> Is the thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Did you hear me? I just said it'll be worth it. 
okay, I'm moving into the sun. This will be worth it too. I got to get in the sun. So listen, when you feel like this, <laughs> stop, place, place, stop getting upset. Your job is not, this is not your job. This is not our job either. We can't bring this in, right? Uh, just fasting and prayer. Place. Here you go, baby. Um, so, okay. Oh, Lord Jesus, I need to get in the flow. Father God, uh, please be, look at the horse. I love my horses. That's my heavenly horse. That's my supernatural horse. Someday I'm going to have a one of those. <laughs> Not that one. Mine is much prettier. The one on my vision board is much prettier. Itchy scratchy, y'all. I just had to leave my emotional vampire husband. Now he's stonewalling me, separating sheep from goats. Hang in there. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you left. I, what do I say? Guys, there are seasons. Okay, let me explain something. This is a season where people are going to leave you. You're going to leave some people and people are going to leave you. It's a separation season. It's, and, and the fallout of that is hard. I mean, I'm talking, we're talking former besties of mine. Just don't, don't respond to my messages. And I just have to trust it. Even, even people that are in the dinar with me. So I, maybe they're watching me. Maybe, maybe they haven't responded because they know what's up with me because they want, I don't know. All I know is it, it's just, it's a, it's a, it's a Lord Jesus, help me. Um, Thank you, Father. Father God, we come before you. We ask forgiveness for any and all sin and thought, word, and deed. We receive your forgiveness as a collective, Lord. We just ask. We receive them all personally. We receive your forgiveness. We come boldly before your throne. And thank you, Lord, that you have said and you have confirmed as early as a couple days ago that it is done. My husband got a tip on Sunday night. Do you realize that? Or Sunday day. And he didn't tell me till 11, 11 p.m., right? I'm seeing the repeating numbers. I'm, I couldn't sleep last night. I was, you know, so... So Psalm six, O Lord, rebuke me not in your anger, nor discipline me. See this, this look at the little smiley faces. If it gets hard <laughs> saying, that's why I'm wearing them little smiley faces. There's a bunch of them there. Um, oh, uh, okay. This one's better. Psalm seven. Oh Lord, my God, in you, I take refuge and put my trust. Save me from all those who pursue and persecute me. Deliver me lest my foe tear my life from my body, like a lion dragging me away while there is none to deliver. Oh Lord, my God, if I have done this, if there was wrong in my hands, if I have paid back with evil for whom who's peace with me or without cause have robbed him, who was my enemy, let the enemy pursue my life and take it. Yes. Let him trample my life to the dust ground and lay my honor in the dust. See, la pause and calmly think of that. Arise, O oh Lord, in your anger, lift up yourself against the rage of my enemies, which is our deaths. You know, remember we're in prison. Um, God had me look at this this morning. He did speak to me before I fell into the pit after I got out of bed and started dealing with my day. Um, he reminded me, he goes, I just gave you this. So I'm going to read it. Oh, this is, this is what he, oh, thank you. Look. Okay. Okay. So I, okay. This is what he said to me this morning. I forgot. Sometimes you forget when God's speaking. Okay. Yesterday was Jeremiah 3, 3, 33, 3. So things you could never figure out on your own. This is a message version. You can't figure it out. Stop trying. Okay. While Jeremiah was still locked up in jail, I'm still in jail. I still have debt. I'm still, I am still in the slave based system. We all are like direct deposits. It all comes through the banking systems, right? We're slaves to that system right now. Right. Um, while Jeremiah was still locked up in jail, a second message from God was given to him. This is God's message. This is the message version from my phone. Don't trust the phone versions because they're taking, you know what, the, you know what the primary verses they've taken out of the Bible is? Some things come out only by fasting and prayer. Because that is the, and we are fasting and we are praying. So hello, we, we, this is why it's coming. Don't ever forget that God brought this wealth transfer. Okay. Don't ever forget that. This is God's message. The God who made earth, made it livable and lasting, known everywhere as God. Call to me and I will answer you. I'll tell you marvelous things and wondrous things that you can never figure, figure out on your own, which he did. He brought me the dinar. He brought me all the other currencies. He brought me the crypto knowledge to get into the crypto system. And, I, and my wallet is prospering. Bitcoin got over 73,000 yesterday. The wealth transfer is happening now. This is 73, seven. Yeah, 70,000. Um, and you can buy fractionals, guys. You should not be afraid of the cryptos. You should be jumping in. You should be jumping in. Even if it falls, it fell. I, I, I went, 
I went from 4,000 up to 25,000 and then it fell down to uh, 7,000, right? Unlike my silver, I bought it at $28. Now it's never recovered. Right. I, I look at these things. I'm well diversified. I tell you to, and then I'm looking to see what God is blessing. God is blessing me in the crypto markets right now. Can anybody else say amen? Say amen. If you're being blessed in the crypto asset market, they're assets, they're digital assets. You need to get in because it's blockchain, blockchain, blockchain. Uh, become a miracle manifestation member. I tell you exactly what to do or set a private with me or, or whatever, I, or maybe I'll do a group for that. Do you want a group for that? Isa doesn't get back into the country till Wednesday. So I can't, <laughs> if you want me to do a group for that, I can't. Um, I'm probably better in a group to explain that and get it recorded, right? Because one-on-one, -on -one, I'm a little over, I'm a little, um, I could be harsh. I can. And I apologize. I always apologize because you had a weird dream last night. It is a breakthrough time. Good morning from Texas. Anna, thank you for being here from Texas. I haven't even... <laughs> Haven't even had time to say hello to everybody. Hi, Polly. The horses are awesome. They're my savior. I might do a training session. <laughs> I, I want my purple training halter, though. My training, whatever that's called. I want the purple one. I got my black lead. I want the purple halter. He's going to look so pretty in that purple training halter instead of the used old one that I bought for 20 bucks. Um, there goes Bunny. Call to me and I will answer you. I will tell you marvelous and wondrous things that you can never figure out on your own. This is what God, the God of Israel, has to say about what's going on in this country. It says city, but I'm saying in this country. About the homes of both people and kings that have been demolished. About all the ravages of the war and the killing by the Chaldeans and about the streets. Littered with the dead bodies of those killed because of my raging anger. About all that's happened because the evil actions in this city have turned my stomach in disgust. Now this is the good stuff. But now take another look. I'm going to give this city or country, whatever, whatever territory you're in. If you're in another country, you can claim this as your own. You should be in Nehemiah in your land. Nehemiah played, prayed for a city, played for a state, prayed for his country. You can be in Nehemiah wherever you are, because I know this is a global reach. There's a lot of people from a lot of different countries that are in worse off situations than we are. We just are you know, our apples are painted. The fruit, the negative fruit is all painted. It looks good still. That's why people are still coming. <sighs> like, anyways. <laughs> but now, take another look. I'm going to give this city a thorough, I'm going to give this country a thorough renovation, working a true healing inside and out. God's working a healing inside and out. Inside and then out. Inside each of us so that we learn to not complain and not blame God. It's not God that did this. It's the evil. Okay? Um, I'm going to show them life, whole life, brimming with blessings. I will restore everything that was lost to Judah and Jerusalem. And I'll build back, I'll build everything back as good as new. I'll scrub them clean from the dirt they've done against me. I'll forgive everything they've done wrong. He forgives everything you've done wrong. Amen. This should be good news. I'll forgive everything they've done wrong. Forgive all their rebellions. If you've rebelled against God and you found my channel, he's forgiven you, right? Amen. Receive it receive it. Join my prayers. I'm going to do the, 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 thank you God for ordering this presentation. However you've done this, given how I started, just go back and look how I started. It's messy, right? But God will rescue you from the pit of your pits. Whatever your pit is, he will rescue you. He promises to rescue. I'll forgive everything they've done wrong. Forgive all their rebellions. And Jerusalem will be a center of joy and praise and glory for all the countries on the earth. They'll get reports on all the good I'm doing for her. They'll be in awe of the blessings I'm pouring on here. Yes, God's message. You're going to look at this place, these empty and desolate towns of Judah and streets of Jerusalem and say, a wasteland, unlivable. Not even a dog could live here. But the time is coming when you're going to hear laughter and celebration, marriage festivities, marriage festivities, people exclaiming, thank God of the angel armies. He's so good. His love never quits as they bring thank offerings into God's temple. Um, here, let me give my dog something to look at so they can stop whining. Um, God's opening a new door. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He's just, guys, the doors are open, right? Now I need to, I need to change my hat. I'm sitting in the sun. So oh. 
Thank God of the angel armies. He's so good. His love never quits as they bring thank offerings into God's temple. I put my donation links up there. If you want to donate, it's into God's kingdom. It is not about me, guys. I don't need your money, right? But if you want to donate and get into the hundredfold, this is where you do it because you get a hundredfold here. He puts super on your natural. God, he has ordered everything, guys. I swear to you, I don't know why I picked this bottle, that cup, rise and shine. Thank God of the angel armies. He's so good. His love never quits as they bring thank offerings into God's temple. I'll restore everything that was lost in this land. I'll make everything as good as new. I, God, say so. God, the God of the angel army says this coming desolation, unfit for even a stray dog, is once again going to become a pasture for shepherds who care for their flocks. You'll see flocks everywhere in the mountains around the towns of the Cephalia and Negev, all over the territory of Benjamin, around Jerusalem and the towns of Judah. Flocks under the care of shepherds who keep track of each sheep. God says so. A fresh and true shoot from the David tree. Watch for this. The time is coming. God's decree. When I will keep the promise I made to the families of Israel and Judah. Israel is obviously the original chosen one, but Judah is praise. When you praise him, everything changes. Worship wins the war. He always, you know, when the Israelites first crossed, crossed over into the promised land, what did they see? Jericho. They were supposed to dispossess the people living in those lands. Remember, he gives you a land flowing with milk and honey, farms that were cultivated by other people, houses that other people prepared for you. But then they, they have to get out. You're going to have to offer more than probably the market price to get your dream property after this happens. But make a list of what you're going to do with the money. Don't spend it ceaselessly or erroneously. I've always said, make a list so you know what you're going to do. First thing, you're going to pay off your debt. Number sec second, you're going to put aside money for taxes. Number third, you're going to hire a really good trust and estate attorney and figure out how you can set yourself up so that nobody can take things from you when crap really hits a fan. Amen. Mm -hmm. Cheers. I'm reading from Jer Jeremiah 33 in the message version, and it's helping me. When that time comes, I will make a fresh and true shoot sprout from David tree. He will run this country honestly and fairly. He will set things right. That's when Judah will be secure and Jerusalem live in safety. The motto for this city will be God has set things right for us. God has made it clear that there will always be a descendant of David ruling the people of Israel and that there will always be Levitical priests on hand to offer burnt offerings, present grain offerings and carry on the sacrificial worship in my honor. God's message to Jeremiah, God says, if my covenant with day and my covenant with night ever fell apart so that day and night became haphazard and you never knew which was coming and when, then and only then would my covenant with my servant David fall apart and his descendants no longer rule. The same goes for the Levitical priests who serve me. Just as you can't number the stars in the sky nor measure the sand on the seashore, neither will you be able to account for the descendants of David, my servant and the Levites who serve me. God's message to Jeremiah, have you heard the saying that's making the rounds? The two families God chose, Israel and Judah, he disowned. And have you noticed that my people are treated with contempt, with rumors afoot that there's nothing to them anymore, right? We're the remnant. People think they've counted us out. They think we're foolish for trusting in this old book, right? This holy Bible, which was inspired by God. This is the inspired word of God. I know because he inspires me as I read it because I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. But people outside the kingdom can't read this book like I do, right? Can Cannot get the juice from it. I mean, if you look at this presentation, 28 minutes ago, I got on here and told you how I was really feeling. This is how I always go to God. I've never been dishonest with God about how I was feeling. I don't I don't put makeup on and act like I feel great. If I don't, I go to God and say, what is up with this? My emotions are about to take over me. I'm about to rip somebody's head off. I need your help, right? Like, and, and he helped me because usually when I'm carrying heavy things is when it comes out. But today I kept, I prayed in tongues. I didn't have anything in my ears. I just prayed in tongues. I prayed for strength. And oh my gosh, my husband goes, thank you. You were so helpful. We are happy. We are blessed. We are free. Thank you. I know I got to bring it back, but guys, I'm, I'm doing this to show you. I'm not always happy, blessed and free. I'm not, my emotions are not, my emotions betray me more than anything else. They betray me. Why? Because I tell my emotions how to feel. I don't let my emotions rule me. There's a lot of people out there in the world. The, the humanism movement <laughs> teaches you to let your emotions rule you. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, I make my emotions obey. Just like I say, all the enemy and his demons are under my feet. They can't even come near me, right? The word stands when my emotions fall. I'm just a breath. I'm a mere breath. I'm, I'm like nothing, right? I'm only here for a short time. 
right? But I'm grateful that God has me such a time as this to teach you all that he's taught me in the darkness. I've been in the dark for, God, I was in the dark for a long time. <laughs> now he's bringing me out so I can bring you the light, which is crazy because I started out telling you how crazy crappy I feel and how much I, you know, <sighs> Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity, for the Lord has heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord receives my prayer. Let all the enemies be ashamed and sorely troubled. Let them turn back and be put to shame suddenly. God, I thank you for hearing my supplications and receiving my prayer. Thank you, Lord, for listening and heeding to me when I call to you. Thank you, God, that I can take refuge in you and that I can trust you. Thank you for making a cover over me and for defending me. That's uh, Psalm 511, 6, 9, and... Psalm 4, 3. Okay, we're going to go to our confessions and we're going to go to the intel. Is is Sandman on? I don't know. It's probably crazy over there too. That's crazy here. Can you imagine what it's like over there? Thank him for his service. Please cover them in prayer and send your angel honors to keep them safe. All the servicemen around the world, all the police, all the fire, we need to cover them in prayer. All the people at the border, definitely cover them in prayer. I said, Lord Jesus, thank you, Lord, that we can come before you. Lord, we set the course of our life today. I set the course of my life today with my words. I declare today that I will not be defeated, discouraged, oppressed, or disappointed today. I am the head. I have insight. I have wisdom. I have ideas. I have authority. I exercise my authority today with my words, and I decree a thing, and it is so. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. That's 1 John 4, 4. The same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead lives in me. That's Romans 8, 11. As I speak words today, they come to pass. That's Job 20. 22, 28. They go before me. They bring the things to pass that I desire, like the wealth transfer. And they stop all attacks, assaults, oppressions, and fear from coming to my life. God is on my side today, and therefore I cannot be defeated. His favor surrounds me today as a shield. That's Psalm 512. I expect favor today from heaven and from the earth. Jesus had favor with God and man. That's Luke 2, 552. And as he is, so am I on this earth. That's 1 John 4, 17. Therefore, I have favor today with God and man. I expect and receive favor in my home, favor in my job, favor in my business, favor in my ministry, favor with my finances, favor in favor in every situation I face today, even with moving that heavy item. Um, my mouth speaks wisdom and my heart is filled with understanding. Psalm 49, three, I ask for and receive an abundant supply of wisdom and understanding today from God. That's accordance with James one, five wisdom from above wisdom that is pure, peaceable, gentle, unwavering, willing to yield without hypocrisy. Um, that's James 3, 17. Wisdom and understanding are better than silver and gold and nothing I desire can compare with them. Therefore, I make it my ambition and desire to have understanding and wisdom. Therefore, I know I will have all the other desires of my heart. That's Proverbs 8, verses 10 to 11. My words go before me and secure my divine health and healing. I will not be sick today. I will not be sad today. I will not be broke today. I will not be confused today. I have help today. I have joy today. I have all the money I need in Jesus' name. My steps are ordered by the Lord. That's Psalm 37, 23. I have a covenant with God and by the blood of Jesus, I release my divine protection and divine provision. My angels are carrying out the word of God on my behalf. I receive supernatural strength and encouragement from God and my angels. Jeez, do I need that? Angels carry out the word of God and every word that I speak that lines up with the word of God is being carried out by angels even now as I speak. That's Psalm 103.20. I expect to have divine appointments today, to run into the right people and to be delivered from the wrong people. Any adversity, attack, accidents, and tragedies that were headed my way are diverted right now in Jesus' name. I speak to the raging waters in my life and I say, peace be still. I say to my emotions, peace be still. I say to my body, peace be still. I say to my home, peace be still. Now I say to my family, my dogs, my horses, peace Peace be still. And now I speak in my husband. <laughs> now I speak to every mountain of fear, every mountain of discouragement, every mountain of stress, every mountain of depression, every mountain of lack and insufficiency. And I say, be removed and cast into the sea in Jesus's name. That's Mark 11, 23. I expect the best day of my life, spiritually, emotionally, relationally, and financially today in Jesus's name. Amen. 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 If you agree with this, say amen. I'm listening while I go over the daily reports over here. Good evening to you all. Sam, man, I love you all. What's going on over there? I know you gave us the date yesterday. Thank you for that. That's um, what, March 10th through the 24th. How's it feeling? Any news over there? Like, I know uh, Mark Z is probably on right now. Frank was on last night, but he was wearing his black suit. So, you know, I just read a lot from Jeremiah 33.3 for those of you who are brand new. I also just did my confessions that have been 24 years of, studying the word, knowing that the, the power to change our lives is in your mouth. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. 
you can either release curses or blessings from your own mouth. And at the same time, people that are into witchcraft, because Satan's running the planet right now, people that are in the into witchcraft see their spells and incantations they do, they see results because Satan has has power for those who give him power. And, and because we're the remnant, it, it's like there's a lot that have given him his power and that are feeding his power. We, that's why we're in such a war, guys, because we have to rise up because he has no power against the remnant, right? He is bringing the wealth transfer so we can be safe. That's why, that's why um, Sandman's, because uh, he can't invest in the currency in the country he's serving in, the D D Department of Defense changed that law. <laughs> you got to wonder why, right? Because that's the whole game. That's the game. The, the, the U.S. government invests in those currencies when they're low. And then when they revalue and say, okay, you're good now, we give you a blessing, right? They don't do that though. They probably sacrifice it. But anyways, Moloch <laughs> has no power over me. I'm just saying. Uh, Sudani made an announcement yesterday. They might just remove the zeros and make the rate 132. That would be fantastic. And guys, you know the truth. The truth shall make you free. Now that you have God's strategies, that means if it comes out at 132, you can take one note in. Okay, let's let's do some math. If you have one $25,000 note and you go to the bank because you don't believe the law, the lie that you have to bring it all in, it's a one-shot deal, that's $33,000. What would that do for you? What would $33,000 do for you right now? That would be some much needed resources, right? And guess what? You could test with just one note. If you need 66,000, take two notes. And you can test the systems that I've told you about. I put in place for you the freedom strategies that are from God. I'm the only one teaching it. And I used to feel insecure about that, that I was the only one teaching it. Well, of course, God is rise, raising up the remnant and somebody that has financial expertise to teach you how to get your money. I'm just saying it makes sense now, but it didn't make sense years ago. And God did confirm to me, for those of you who haven't been on in a while, I know everybody's busy. I don't know when you're watching this, but Sunday, my husband did a special thing for L.L. Bean and he, he rarely gets tips, guys. And, and he got a tip, but he didn't tell me till 11, 11 at night. And that day I was struggling just as I was this morning when, before I, when I started, I was struggling emotionally with my emotions, but my emotions come to heal when... I surrender them to God. God knows we're emotional creatures. My gosh. I mean, look at this. All you got to do is read the Psalms. David did that too. He would cry out to God. Oh my God. They're like trying to kill me. Right. And there is, there is designs to do just that. We've survived. Why? Because we're God's kids. He needs a remnant to survive, to show other people the way when, when everything else is fixed. Right. You need to know why. Um, has anyone ever done this? Hey, Paul, prayers always for you and your team. Has anyone ever done what? Taken one note in? Not yet. <laughs> I, Sudani made an announcement. Julie says, I don't know where you got that information. Um, several, several articles for you. Nothing on the RI front. All is quiet, but things are happening behind the scenes over here. Things that he can't talk about. So guys, you just have to trust and pray. This is the darkness before the dawn, right? But, but look, what I want to encourage you is this is not like any other time you've been in this. This is different. God is giving me miracle signs and wonders to tell you it's done. The strategy should be enough. The strategy should also confirm to you that it is done. You never had these strategies before. I never had these strategies before. He wouldn't be bringing me these strategies at this time. He wouldn't have brought my husband a tip on Sunday. My husband didn't tell me till 11, 11 p.m. at night that he, he goes, oh, by the way, I got a tip. That was my sign that it's done. So it's done. The Iraqi dinar has already revalued in the spiritual realm. What does that mean? Faith is mustard seed moves the mountains. Faith is a substance of things hoped for, but not yet seen. So in order for it to be faith, you have to believe without seeing. I'm asking you to believe without seeing it. And what would our strategy be? Well, guys, you think I'm not, as soon as, if it comes out at 132, we're going to be doing a Zoom that same day. We find out and we can talk about it then. Okay. Um, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So it hasn't happened yet, but when it does, you'll know. Keep, keep Please subscribe, tap the bell. You're going to know. And you're going to know what to do after that keeps it safe. Right. Um, 
because God gave me the wisdom about the entire system, the blockchain side and the existing side. I think the existing side and the blockchain side have become one. That had to be done before they revealed this. Why? So they can take it from you easier. Before, it was a little harder to take it from you. Now, with the new system, the quantum system that they call it, they, they wrapped it up in a pretty package so that you love it. Tell you all the good things about it. Oh, my God, you need this system. Right? Um, God, I know that, that you give what is good. Righteousness goes before you and you leave your footprints to show me where to walk. Teach me your way, Lord, that I may walk and live in your truth, direct and unite my heart to fear and honor your name. Trust me, I can't go too far and God pulls me back and I'm sure he's doing the same to you. That's why you're here. Just saying. So do you want me to read the articles, even though there's nothing on the RI front? Do you want to know what's going on over there? We're 40 minutes in or I can end now. I can pray us out and we can end. Um, hi from sunny, cool Toronto, Canada. Hi, Cat Condo. How are you? Did you get the, I can't remember if you got the uh, replays you wanted. Eight bank stories from Frank 26. Yep. Yep. They're probably all with Chase, right? Um, I would have to listen to myself to get understanding. I probably will to get understanding. Why? You need to know what people are experiencing. That gives you clues to what's really going on. Right, Chase. Yep, yep. Because Chase is in charge of the redemption centers. That's very apparent. Um, good morning, everyone. Have a blessed day. Yes. Hey, Kathy. How are you? Hey, Julie. Thank you for being here. You got this information from Militia Man. Awesome. So, guys, I'm gonna go and see what um I'm gonna do the normal things because you guys, I'm not gonna I'm gonna stay with the plan here. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to go and look at the articles that Sandman sent. He said there's a lot going on behind the scenes that they can't talk about. Um, but guys, you can discern a lot from, from what they are allowing released. Because guys, they're tapping all around this. They're, they're saying it without saying it all the time. So cabinet meeting and some of the discussions today. This is the hot stuff that you get here nowhere else um baghdad a statement issued by the prime minister's office today received by the what said prime minister mohammed shial al sadani presided today tuesday the 13th regular session of the council of ministers during which developments in the general situation in the country were discussed and a number of basic files were discussed which fall within the priorities of the government program and follow up on the implementation of its procedures in addition to discussing the topics on the agenda they're not saying anything specific you notice that the council of ministers holds a 13 whatever Prime Minister chaired today the ninth. Yeah, here we go again. Uh, just telling you which session it is. They also discussed the regular items on the agenda and made several decisions. They're not saying what they're doing, guys, but they're talking about what they're doing. At the session's outset, the Prime Minister directed all ministers to exert maximum efforts during the blessed month of Ramadan to ease the burdens on the Iraqi citizens in this holy month. His Excellency also directed the Ministry of Trade to address any delay associated with distributing Ramadan food baskets and subsidized foodstuffs. He stressed that all ministers should be on time to evaluate the work of director generals in their ministries. He also directed all teams in Iraqi ministries to implement the electronic payment point of sale. And he expressed his appreciation with the Ministry of Oil's use of electronic payment at gas stations. Following the orders, that, see guys, we take that for granted. We've had it at our gas stations how long now? We take it all for granted. So rise and shine. If you just come, I'm in the middle of the intel that we get from Sandman. We don't get anywhere else. This is what's coming out of Iraq today. Hot off the presses. The recommendations, including several decisions that would improve the status of the private sector as follows. Write off debts <laughs> resulting from the cases below based on the amended federal financial management law. Debt cancellation, guys. That's what I've been helping you with. Um, so they're writing off debts. Um, there's there's a lot of re things that they're going to do that with. Construction permit fees accrued from industrial projects, amounts of fines owed by private commercial companies resulting from applying Article 217 of the company's law. I don't know what those are, but I don't care. I just want to see the amounts of fines owed by taxpayers resulting from applying Article 30 of the real estate tax law. They're, they're going to do some debt forgiveness over there, guys. It's all good. 
the general secretary of the council minister undertakes to amend paragraph one of cabinet resolution 39 of 218 to include additional reduction in electricity fees for industrial projects, implementing another one regarding reducing the customs fee for plastic granules to zero, confirming the implementation of another resolution taking into account years, what, to be, what, amending paragraph two to become five years to three years have passed since the granting of the incorporation completion permit for industrial project, canceling paragraph four and replacing it with the following um, that has to do with the in industrial investment law. Um, they reduced fuel and energy prices for industrial projects, laboratories, production hey. fees. Hey, place, you need to wait. Place right here. You need to wait. My husband's probably talking to the guys. Um, that's why they're getting so upset. They hear voices and they can't do anything about it. So guys, this is a lot. Holy cow. This goes on for pages. So look, they're being specific about the things they can be specific about. Do you understand that? And they're being very general about the things they're not going to be able to talk about. They're not going to tell you this is happening, right? But this is good. Thank you, Sam, man, for bringing this. Um, the next thing he brought was a new tanker for Iraq. Abdul Ghani, new marine tanker to enhance the transportation. Chamber of Commerce discuss European bank support for financial projects. You know what Chamber of Commerce are, right? They focus on the, the private businesses. Chamber of Commerce discuss European bank support for the president of the Federation of Iraqi Chambers of Commerce, Abdul Razi Al Zuhari, discussed today, Thursday, the European Bank's support for financing industrial and agricultural projects. The Chambers of Commerce said in a statement received by the Iraqi News 8, the president of the Federation of the Iraqi Chambers of Commerce received at the Federation's headquarters a delegation from the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development, headed by the executive director of the Middle East region, European Union Ambassador Thomas Sealer and a number of members of the delegation. She said, during the meeting, many topics were discussed that contribute to the development of the Iraqi economy, as well as the support that the European Bank provides to Iraqi businessmen to finance industrial and agricultural products and the rest of the sectors that constitute a priority in supporting the local economy. Guys, they're just, they're just getting everything. They're, they're doing a great job of presenting to the world what they're doing that justifies them having a very nice currency rate. No fooling around here. INSS carries out campaign against price speculators. Woohoo! I'm so glad I don't deal in currency. Um, I just give you information. INSS carries out campaigns against price speculators and destroys 94 tons of food. It says the Iraqi National Security Service announced on Tuesday the implementation of campaigns on commercial markets through the governance to prevent price speculators during the month of Ramadan, while indicating the destruction of 94 tons of food supplies. With the advent of the month of Ramadan and based on the directives of the prime minister, the economic security detachments of the agency carried out campaigns to follow up on markets and shops to prevent manipulation of food prices and hold violators accountable through legal procedures. The campaign included all governance of the country and resulted in the seizure and destruction of about 94 tons of expired food supplies in coordination with health teams. The statement added violators were referred to the competent judicial authorities to take the necessary measures against them. You do not want to get arrested in Iraq. I'm just saying, I tell you here, be a good citizen. Totally different ballgame over there. And it's a very holy country, too. You don't violate God's laws over there. They're God's laws right? The auctions. Here we go. Here we get to the auctions, which always tells a story um, because they're de-dollarizing. I tell you that all the time because I can see it. More than 220 million in Iraqi Bank of Iraq sales at auction today. They keep selling the dollar. That's what this tells you. The sales of the Central Bank of Iraq on Tuesday increased to reach $220 million compared to Monday. The correspondent of the news agency said that the central bank sold today during its auction to sell and buy the U.S. dollar $220,914,445 covered by the bank at a base exchange rate of 1305, same as yesterday, per dollar for documentary credits and international settlements of electronic cards and at a price of 1310 dinars per dollar for foreign transfers and the same price in cash. Our correspondent added that most of the bank's dollar sales went to boost the balances abroad 
in the form of remittance credits, which amounts to 196 million, da, 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 up by 87% up from cash sales, 24 million, million and 777,000 dollars. The only thing they're missing in that report is the amount of banks they offered it to and the amount of banks that took it. Um, probably because it doesn't look good, right? Usually when they're selling the US dollar, they they usually the numbers are like, okay, we, we offered it to 15 banks, only four took it or seven took it. So they're not, they didn't say that today. So guys, they continue to de-dollarize. The ISX is listing crypto in Iraq now. Whoa, really? Yeah, you know why? It's the, it's the Bitcoin ETF that's pushing all this, guys. That's what's pushing it all. You know, and what were you told all these years? Don't invest in it. But the but the institutions have been investing in it all along. I looked at what the institutions were doing. I'm just saying, guys. Um, <clears throat> Melanie, go watch Frank 26 last night. He agree. He what? A G T E. Do you mean agrees? The initial rate will roll out low, but I truly believe it will go up. Yep, me too, Julie. Yes, I think that's the strategy, right? It's just like your cryptos, guys. I mean, I got in and when when I watched things going on in this country crash the crypto market, like like in, in, in China, China kicked out all the Bitcoin miners. Right. So there's a lot going on, guys. I'm not I'm not going to mess up your mind with the crypto. But I do say that if you're a Miracle Manifestation member, you can go back to those early videos in May and June where I was talking about the crypto space is your only only strategy other than the ones that you've been beat over the head with. Um, gold and silver. I don't talk about that because everybody else talks about that, right? I have some silver, but I'm underwater in my silver. I'm just saying. I'm not underwater in my cryptos. I'm getting a wealth transfer in the cryptos right now. You can too. If you invest in the right ones, right? So that's for my miracle manifestation. I agree. He agreed with you. It may float to 16, then drop <laughs> I am so grateful that people are wising up. Frank's always been wise, though. He's always said, if you need an 800 number, just look at the back of your credit card. That was wise of him to say it that way. It was really wise of him to say it that way. He had been on YouTube longer than me, so he knows what the game is. I didn't know the game. I'm the newbie. I've only been on five years, but, you know. Man, I feel totally different now. Do you? I feel totally different. Thank you for... Guys, I'm telling you, you never know what you're going to get. But at the end of the day, you're always going to get strategies if you pay attention. If you pay attention, you're going to get all the strategies you need to manage your life rightly, no matter what you're going through. Because I am always real with you about what I'm going through. And it's valuable. I think it's very valuable in this day and age to have somebody that's not just preaching at you as if they've got it all figured out that you have somebody who's a friend, a brother or sister in Christ that can come alongside you and say, hey, I understand. Here's how I deal with it. Here's how I deal with it. When I have an, an upswell of emotion, I'm a very emotional creature. We all are, right? Some of us just hide it better than others. I can't hide anything, right? I'm very bold. I've always been that way. So basically, I always get three steps to, to approach God when your emotions are out of control. Praise him for anything you can. I thanked him for my house. I thanked him that I was alive, that I could stretch in the mornings. Like I stretch like crazy in the mornings. Why? So when I go down my stairs in the morning, I don't feel old. <laughs> I'm just saying it works. So anyways, I praise him for everything. I worship him. And then I go with him with, I go to him with the truth. Lord Jesus in truth. I really do not like having to move this heavy piece of furniture first thing in the morning when I haven't worked out. Yeah, I stretched a little bit, but it, it I feel it, right? Um, thank you God for the real products, but in truth, my emotions are going nuts. I don't feel like going live. I don't feel like this. Da, 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 da. I had all those conversations with God before I went live. And then I had to change locations because we have something being delivered, which is kind of annoying, right? So when things don't happen, things don't happen the way, by the way, this is the, for those of you who watch my self tanning journey, this is the color after I shower. It's, it's better than white. Um, have a great day, guys. Are you doing others? Intake? Yeah, I'm doing it right now. Sorry. I got it. I took a little, I have to, I have to point you to God guys and how to, how to seek God for yourself. Cause you need to hear from him yourself. Right. I, it can't just be me. Um, Mark Z today. 
or I don't know if this is today. This is, they said they dated at 312. Um, contacts in Iraq think it will go between the 10th and 24th of March. <laughs> Didn't I say that yesterday? <laughs> Sandman, you're always ahead of them. Thank you. Not that, not that there's, not that there's, I'm not, this is not a race, guys. We're all crossing the finish line together. That's a general consensus amongst his Iraqi contacts as well. We'll see how it plays out. Um, Comment. I think 76 cents is a sucker rate. I agree. I believe 76 cents would be a sucker rate. Comment. Maybe 76 cents prepares the Forex market for what is to come. So 350 to 425 won't surprise them, Marcy. I agree. And it also prepares the people for a different rate. This is a big change needs to be prepared for. I agree. It's such a big change. Frank 26 said, question, do you believe one more move to a thousand or RI? It looks like 1310 may be what they're seeking. Maybe a dollar is not enough. Um, and then um, this is Pimpy. I'm going to read this. You can still see Iraq is taking the steps necessary to deal with corruption, update all their systems so they can keep better track of things and continue down the path toward joining the international community. Iraq has taken all the necessary steps. It's looking very good for Iraq as long as they stay on this path. I agree, Pimpy. Thank you. Um, Question, are they going to knock it out of the park this week? This is Mark Z. They need to knock it out this week. A lot of people are expecting it this week in the banking world. We will see what happens. I mean, I'm just so excited. Um, here's Guru Claire article, advisor to the prime minister. The stability of the exchange rate gives relative stability to gold prices. Quote, the economic advisor to the prime minister, Mazar, Muhammad Salih confirmed the relative stability of gold prices in Iraq due to the value of the dinar. What determines gold prices today are the international gold exchanges, noting that the stability of the official Iraqi dinar rate to the dollar gives relative stability to gold prices. Nader, article quote, the Iraqi government and the central bank are dissatisfied with the nature of the U.S. Treasury's dealings with Iraqi bank. No kidding. I don't, I don't blame them. I'm unsatisfied. There's an effort to lift the sanctions. They need to take the sanctions off of Iraq. Um, uh, Sandy Ingram, IMF's report on Iraqi's economy. This is a critical report dealing with Iraq's financial future. Iraq could easily be on the path to a higher exchange rate, depending on how the country responds to the IMF recommendations. That's the International Monetary Fund. Um, Iraq's non-oil economy is expected to continue to its growth of 2024, expanding by 6% in 2023. The International Monetary Fund also reported Iraq's economy is pro projected to rebound in 2024. Iraq needs more sustainable non-oil growth. Well, that's all you hear about now. They're secure and stable, and they've got all these, they've incentivizing all these businesses. Um, again, the exchange rate a lot of people have differing opinions, but a lot of people are on the same side with me. Deleting the zeros has to do with the exchange rate. It's not off the currency. And then, you know, the currencies are what they are. And then they're going to collect all the higher dollar currencies. They're going to give you a time to do that. The The government itself will keep some of the higher dollar, the higher dinar value things. But most of them they'll take in, they'll destroy them um, because they, they'll, they'll roll out the lower denoms. That's just how it works. Right. That's how it works. Um, well, did I say the rate backward? I might have. I'm sorry. I apologize. Well, no, wait, one one twenty three dinars per dollar, right? One twenty three dinars per dollar, whatever. Guys, I'm not doing did. You might have just gotten on. I'm not having the best day. So whatever. If I made a mistake, I apologize. May God bless you all with the love of Jesus Christ. Dr. Shabibi said at one time the dinar could report $16 in 2012. Just saying. I know. I, I know it's going to go up high. I don't know if I'm going to get that high of a rate because it really depends on <laughs> the banks. Amen. Thank you, Gainer. You're awesome. The comment by Mark was it in response to someone in chat stating what Sandman said yesterday. Mark said his contacts are in agreement with that. Awesome. Great. Thank you for bringing that. Um, yeah, Sandman, thank you for being part of my tribe. Amen. I appreciate you more than you know. Ray Cox, $1.32. Are you using the U.S. dollar or $1.32 dinar per U.S. dollar? I'm going to say it right back to you. I don't care. Pick on the critical things. Be critical as you want. I really don't care. I really don't care what anybody's opinion of me anymore. I am, God has taken me through enough. He's in charge of my reputation. 
I told him I need him to bring this for my reputation because he has, he has put me in humbling circumstances a long time. People have been uh, just terrible to me for a long time, 24 years. And he said, no more. He's said it's, it's done. No longer will people be allowed to, to uh, do the things they've done with me in the past because I'm so nice, right? Those days are over. I'm still nice, but I'm not to my people that have shown to be my enemies, right? People tell you who they are. Let them. Let them go ahead and do what they're going to do. That's going to prove to you who they are. Amen. It's going to tell you who's with you and who's not. Keep the people that are with you close to you during these times. But but let the other people go. If they're leaving you, let them leave. People will leave you at this time. People will not. People will. You'll, you'll think it's you. Stop that. That's God's protection. Just like God's delays are not God's denials. He's, I mean, thank God he didn't bring it when he told me it was done. Look how many people I've helped prepare for this. Amen. If you're happy that you've gotten the strategies from God, then comment. Amen. Down below. I'm happy with the strategies. Amen. I know they'll work. It takes a little work, but God requires you to work. The Israelites did, 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 didn't sit outside the Egyptians' homes and say, when are you going to give me your money? No, they did it strategically. They got the money and then they chased them out. You guys, we're going to have to take the money and run. We're going to be chased. But I teach you how to take the money digitally. Amen. Um, it was only a matter of time before others start saying what I provided to you now. The shoe is on the other foot, my friend. Thank God. It's about time. And then, and then somebody texted me this morning that um, that uh, Mark's going to have Militia Man on. That's great. That'll increase his subscribers. I'm very happy for Mark and Militia Man that Mark's helping Militia Man out, just like he helped Nader's channel grow. Right? I'm very happy about that. I'm pr I'm praising God though that God's growing mine steady and solid. Right? Mine's not going to be here one day, gone the next, because I'm here to stay. Right? See, God appointed me this platform to help you with all aspects of the wealth transfer, including the crypto. I don't feel comp com uh, I don't feel qualified to do that, but he <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the called. He's already given me visions that I'm going to have screens that will teach you exactly what to do. He's going to give me the wisdom, and all you got to do is implement it. Amen. Just like before, it, and you will trust me better once this happens, just the way He's told me to do it. When you, when you, when you, uh, <laughs> when you have full rights over all your money and they can't just take it from you. And when you see the, uh, response of all this, once you've, once we, all we can do is step one right now, once we can actually do step two and three and you see the benefits, oh, you will, you will believe me when God told me exactly what to invest in, in the blockchain. He told me exactly what to invest in. He's good to his kids right? He's not to the enemy of his kids. So be careful. I love you all with the love of Jesus Christ. Thank you for clear, for uh, correcting me on the rate. Hey, sunshine. Thank you so much. God bless you. May you see the hundredfold today. May you see something. God, Jesus, I pray that you just surround people with the hundredfold today. I want it now, Lord Jesus. We've waited long enough. If 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 it's going to be a couple more days for the RV, let them see the hundredfold for whatever they have to pay for private or groups or whatever, because the groups are still available. The recordings are there. They're really good. Let's celebrate the third super on this live stream. Oh, there's three super chats. Woohoo! Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, give them a hundredfold because this is your platform filled with your people so we can get your wisdom out to the world for detailed financial strategies so you can get the wealth transfer. You can get that money so you can be safe and we can be rejoicing and we can be a, what we're going to be a shining lighthouse to all the ones that are suffering. He's done this to me before. I didn't even know the economy was crashing in 2008, 2009, 2010. I didn't even know about it. Why? Because God was elevating me. He's doing it again. He's elevating all of us because we're together. Amen. God bless you all. I'll see you all. Hey, listen, the next uh, Miracle Manifestation uh, Zoom is, is the 15th. When is that? Is that Thursday or Friday? No, Friday. This Friday at 11 a.m., Miracle Manifestations. You got another Zoom. So make sure you get yourself as a Miracle Manifestation member. Make sure you do it through the YouTube platform. I am not responsible if you pay me through Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal for your Miracle Manifestation membership. That's not the way it should work. 
Why? Because I cannot possibly send you separate emails for those Zooms. Those are going to be posted on the YouTube platform. So you need to be a miracle manifestation within YouTube. If you've done it in the past and I've let you do it in the past, that time is over. Uh, you need to get yourself on the platform, right? You just need to get yourself on the platform because this thing is going to move very quick. My channel is going to start growing really quick after people realize what happened at those collection places. My channel is going to explode. So I know that's going to happen. So once this is done, once this wealth transfer has happened, you just hang on to your hats. You're going to need to be a Miracle Manifestation member on the platform, okay, to get all the Zooms and all the information that's flowing. Because if if Dale and I start doing this weekly, which we've said we would, you you want to be a me member. I'm not going to increase the price of the membership, but you still need to be a member. Amen. If you don't know that it's valuable, uh, you obviously didn't take... <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you something. I've only been doing miracle manifestations since May of 2003. Even if you're with me every month, God just told me to do the math. Okay. Oh, it hasn't even been a year. Okay, so times ten months. That's two hundred forty nine dollars. Okay, if you'd gotten in the crypto space with me, like I said, you two. May 30th, I told you about cryptos. May 30th, June, June 15th, I told you about the Supreme Court. Financial privacy is gone. I, all we did was witness the rollout of everything God had told me prophetically. And now we're seeing the rollout of everything God told me prophetically. You would have earned, I, I almost, I, I almost want to say a thousand X. If you had used my strategy with some money you had sitting in savings, which is what I said to do. Take money sitting in savings where they're paying you nothing and put it here and put it in this percentages. You would have probably seen, um, like me, right now I'm at, let's see. I'm just going to do rough numbers. A 550% return on the money I put in. And if you only paid $249 for 10 months of a Miracle Manifestation membership, it would have paid you a thousand times over. So that's the difference, right? You're looking at what it costs you monthly. You're not looking at what you could have made if you actually followed directions or went back and looked at those ones I told you to look at. Start in the beginning. And, and implement, you know, the cryptos were down. I could have made more money if I bought when they were down in the last couple of years. Anyways, that's all I got to say. I know other people that, that followed instructions and they're very grateful for my, when everybody else was being told the lies. I'm just saying, whatever. I love you all with the love of Jesus Christ. I'll see you later. God bless. Bye. Lord Jesus, may peace and prosperity already be in everybody's homes. Thank you for the hundredfold promise today or this week. They will see the hundredfold promise for anything they donate or pay for any of my services, whether it's a recorded debt cancellation Zoom and the debt collection letters, or it's a recording of the freedom strategies for anybody holding foreign currency and the three PDFs that go with that, the pre, post and exchange day strategies. Anybody who does that, it's $55 a piece, debt 55 that, and it's well worth it. Amen. It's worth millions. Amen. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye.